the non-human antichrist agenda is being revealed to the world. We'll look at exactly what the Bible has to say about this. Is the antichrist an alien himself? What wisdom can we pull from the book of Genesis in relation to this? And ending off the video with absolute proof that these entities are of a fallen spiritual nature. I'm sure most of you by now have seen or heard of the U.S. intelligence officer that claims that the U.S. government recovered crashed UFOs containing non-human biological material. Here's that clip if you haven't seen it. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Something about that guy personally throws me off. I don't know if it's his body language. It seems overly positive, like he's purposely trying to do correct body language. And he's very defensive sometimes in his responses. And at one point in his narrative story, he says that his wife was brought into the matter. So we just need to be aware. I could be wrong on that, but there could be people in this time that they're putting in positions to tell us information, to lead us down a narrative that they of course want to explain the phenomenon on their terms. In Daniel 11 verses 36 through 39, it's believed that this is telling us about the Antichrist. He will not regard the God of his fathers nor desire women or any God, for he exalts himself above them all. In verse 39, it tells us that he unites himself with a foreign god, which could potentially be tied to whatever this alien phenomenon is. Thus he shall act against the strongest fortress with a foreign god, which he shall acknowledge and advance its glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many and divide the land for gain. Now the Antichrist himself is a man and not an alien, but he'll be working with Satan with the false prophet as well, and they will have complete control over the fallen realm, which is exactly what these entities are. I'll explain that throughout this video. But we know that the Antichrist is a man because in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3, it says, let no one deceive you by any means for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. We also know in Revelation 13 verse 18, it says, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. In verse 4 of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All the world is going to marvel after the Antichrist and follow after him, even to the point of disowning family members and getting this guy's mark on their hands and their head. What's going to get the whole world, different religions alike, and the atheist of the world to accept this guy as he declares himself to be God in the temple of God? Well, something of such a mass event, like him revealing aliens to the world and his connection to them and off-world entities could very well be something that brings all the world into one belief like this. What understandings from the book of Genesis can we pull to get a grasp of what these entities truly are? In Genesis 1.26, it tells us that God made man in his image after his likeness, and that mankind will have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the heavens, and over all the livestock of the earth, and everything that creeps on the earth. Psalm 8 verse 6 also confirms this, that humans have dominion over God's creation. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Nothing within the Genesis story of earth covered in water, dry lands and plants created, sun, moon, and stars being created, the sea and the living creatures and the land animals and then mankind tells us anything about off-world entities of high intelligence whose main goal is to teach occult practices and harass mankind. I have a hard time believing a loving God would create entities where it seems like their main role is to deceive mankind into new age practices, not believing in one true living God of the Bible, or to abduct and harass and strike fear in people. Why would God not mention this to us in his word, which is profitable for all teaching and understanding and is a light to our path and a lamp to our feet? Remember, God has given us dominion over all his creation. Did he just forget to mention there's a higher intelligence that he created that has dominion over us? That's where this becomes spiritual 
and these things seem to be tied to something God has already revealed to us. Why would alien beings from a different planet appear when you pray or do meditation? Dr. Stephen Greer has been seen leading guided meditations where these lights in the sky show up. Christopher Bledsoe had an encounter with lights in the sky, and now he says that every time he prays to them, they appear around his house. Demi Lovato has also come out and said through astral projection and other new age spiritual practices, she has encountered these beings and one night woke up to three extraterrestrials in her room. Spiritual beings react to spiritual practices. The same reason why when you rebuke these things or call on Jesus for help when you encounter these entities, they flee and disappear. These are spiritual entities that are reacting to spiritual practices. It makes zero sense why a living being from a different planet would show up when Stephen Greer does a guided meditation. It makes zero sense why when Christopher Bledsoe prays to these entities, that orbs start appearing around his home. When these things make contact, their main objective is to teach people of New Age practices, we're all one, all gods lead to the same path, New Age belief systems, or they do evil to them and harass them and do tests on them. Jesus even said the greatest commandment next to loving the Lord your God with all of your being is to love your neighbor as yourself. These entities are known for harassing people, for following them, for abducting them, for instilling fear in them. So what these things are known for is for breaking the second commandment, the second greatest commandment that Jesus said we should be following. The same reason these things show up through spiritual occult practices when people do them is the same reason why they disappear when you call on the true authority above all spirituality, which is Jesus Christ. These things are clearly tied to the spirit realm. I believe that they're tied to Ephesians 6 of spiritual wickedness and principalities in heavenly places. I believe that fully the Antichrist could use this as a deception to get all of the world to marvel after him, to marvel after the beast. And 2 Thessalonians 2.11 tells us that therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false. We know in 2 Thessalonians 2.9, it tells us the coming of the lawless one will be in accordance to the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. These deceptions of the Antichrist are going to be so huge that people are marking their hands and heads, disowning family members, and even believing this guy to be God. But we need to know and remember for sure, in Revelation 1.7, it tells us how we can know for certain who God is. Because when Jesus comes on the clouds, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord, no one will have an option, probably the plants and animals will even bow because all creation groans after him. Jesus is the one, he's the one and only true God. The Antichrist is going to send huge deceptions, but we need to trust the truth of what we know, and we can know for certain when God comes back, when Jesus comes, because every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Let me know what you think in the comments about these hearings in DC. Some of them I believe are absolutely true. Some of them I don't really trust. Let me know what your opinion is, but we can absolutely be certain that this is playing into clearly the last days in one way or another because this phenomenon is only being more revealed to the world and it's definitely not going away. So just put your trust in Jesus, follow him. The word of God is the absolute truth and has to be your foundation for just everything you believe in life. I pray you all are well. Thanks for watching and God bless.